So we went to lunch and we were talking about procrastination and the waitress overheard us and she said, I have a problem with procrastination too. I said, really? Get my sandwich. And so, but that's when it hit me, that's what I should talk about, procrastination. That's a problem everybody has. That's universal procrastination. And then I said, oh, who am I kidding? I'm never going to get around to writing about procrastination. <laughs> and so my friend said, that's why I brought this videotape. If you watch this guy, he keeps you focused, he keeps you on track, you'll never procrastinate again. So about a week later, I'll pop in the tape. <laughs> I find that if you don't press play right away, something's on TV. <laughs> All the time. We have 700 channels now. When did this happen? When I was a kid, we had five channels. We didn't have a remote. You had to hate something bad enough <laughs> to get up and walk that five feet to change the channel. Damn bonanza, those horses are so much louder when they run. It was a simpler time back then. You know, we were so easily entertained. We would watch anything. We would watch a flying nun. We'd watch a talking horse. We are so much more sophisticated now, watching people eat bugs and marry strangers for money. <laughs> oh, we've come a long way, haven't we? It's enough to make you miss Mayberry, isn't it? Oh, that was a great show. Man, the pace on that show. <laughs> Nothing ever happened on that show. When there's time for whistling, there's a lot of time on a show. <laughs> Everything was different. It was just slower and longer. Commercials were six minutes long, telling us how delicious cigarettes and alcohol were. <laughs> you know? Man, those people were happy smoking and drinking, weren't they? People are still happy in commercials, but now they're concentrated in 30 seconds. They have to be happy in 30 seconds. And there's some happy people, too. That, that woman in the shampoo commercial? She's happy. She's, she's too happy. I fell for it, though. I bought the shampoo. I, I got to tell you, I was shampooing for a good half hour, and I never got that happy. I... Finally, I just had to fake it, you know, because I had to get out of the shower. It's amazing. 30 seconds and we get invested in those characters on the commercial. You know, that old man who can eat corn on the cob again? I'm happy for him. He couldn't eat it for a while. Now he can. That woman on jury duty, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. She's gotta go! And the judge doesn't understand. Oh, it's such a relief by the end of that commercial. And I don't have to go right now. Oh. Fantastic, lady. Those jingles are catchy. We retain that. In 30 seconds, we remember all this stuff, you know, because of the repetition. I believe that someday sitcoms will be 30 seconds long. Because that's all we'll need and that's all our attention span can take because our attention span is shot. We've all got attention deficit disorder, or ADD or OCD or one of these disorders with three letters because we don't have the time and patience to pronounce the entire disorder. <laughs> that should be a disorder right there. TBD, too busy disorder. What's with the sudden choice of disorders that we've got now? You know, when I was a kid, we just had crazy people. That's all, just crazy people. <laughs> all the commercials on television now are for antidepressants, or Prozac, or Paxil, and they get you right away. Are you sad? <laughs> Do you get stressed? Do you have anxiety? Yes. Yes, I have all those things. I'm alive. I don't want to take a pill. Go to Africa. Go follow some bushman around. He's getting chased by a lion. That's stress. 
I'm not going to find a pygmy on Paxil, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I was watching the news the other day, brought to you by Paxil. <laughs> well, now I need it. <laughs> Smart advertising. That's another thing, too. When I was a kid, the news was on once a day. You either caught it or you missed it. Now the news is on 24 hours a day. And that's not enough. They got a guy talking, and then there's a crawl down there. So you got that guy talking, you got the crawl going, you're online, you're putting in your opinion on your poll. No, I say to that, no! I said no, too, that's right. And then if you stop paying attention to the crawl, you go back to that guy for a minute, and then you go back to the crawl and you catch the end of something, Madonna's left foot. What about Madonna's left foot? What happened? <laughs> You're waiting for it to come back around again. It goes to commercial. Are you sad? Do you get stressed? <laughs> there should just be one crawl that goes around over and over again. Things are getting worse. That's all we need. Uh, And the local news, man, they want you to watch every broadcast they've got, don't they? It's not good enough you're watching the one you're watching. They do these teases to get you to watch later on that are so incredibly cruel. It could be the most deadly thing in the world and you may be having it for dinner. We'll tell you what it is tonight at 11. <laughs> is it peas? Sorry for the newscasters, you know? We can turn it off, but that's their job, and they have to read these stories, and they're just coming up on the teleprompter. They don't know what's coming up, and they've got to go through this range of emotion that there were no survivors. And next, which candy bar helps you lose weight? Still to come is an asteroid headed towards Earth. But first, where to find the cheesiest pizza in town? Also, a disturbing new study finds that studies are disturbing. <laughs> <laughs>